the question that we quite frequently get from people is, well, what are you guys doing for school? It's a very controversial subject, and I'm afraid of getting hate mail. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so this week's episode is on schooling, or as we practice, unschooling. So if you don't know what that is, stay tuned. We wanted to do this video on what we currently do for school now and the ways in which it works for us and, and the ways in which we find it challenging. We've embarked on this new path that we call unschooling. What, it, what unschooling means to me, I think it means different things to everybody, but what it means to me is allowing my child the space to educate themselves in a way that's meaningful to them. The role that I see I have in that is supporting them to do that. Sorrowfuls are big cats and they have spots and stripes. Their bodies are covered in spots, their ears are covered in spots, basically their entire body but their tail is covered in spots and their tail has stripes. Uh, it's not about telling them what to do, it's not about you know, setting strict timetables that they need to be learning in. It's really a role of listening to my child and really trying to hear, okay, this is the way, Dad, that I want to learn. This is what I find interesting. And running with that. Those mm -hmm. cars can take one breath an hour. You look at the whole, like everything in a day and the whole world is a classroom. So instead of saying, you know, we have math from 10 to 12 and we're going to do these five pages, it's like, okay, well, what would be something cool to teach Aya about today? Maybe we could go to the beach and collect a bunch of shells and do math that way. So it's kind of about looking at different opportunities or whenever like you come across something, it's like, oh, here's a great learning opportunity. Here are the fruit butts of Sabu Sabu. And what are they doing? going on a mission, of course. You think I'm dumb? No, I just want you to educate our viewers. Sleeping, of course. Where? In that tree over there, you can promptly what tree? see. You can promptly see. As a parent, you need to be on all the time thinking about it, but the kids have no idea that they're learning anything or that you're trying to actually teach them something. It's just like, that's interesting, and why does it do that? And then you know, helps them figure that out. And so they've learned it and they don't even realize that they've learned it. So this is the largest ammonite ever found. This is what it was called, the giant ammonite. Ammonite? Do <laughs> you like the free form of it? I love the free form of it. I love the free form of it. And it is very freeing. I find it puts me a lot more in tune with my child. And if she's interested in something, instead of being like, well, that's not what we're learning today. Like, forget about that. We just can follow along with that. And then she's way more likely to be engaged in the material. And she's a lot more just excited in general about learning and experiencing new things. And then we get to do it together, which I think is great. Excitement on Family Circus today as Aya gets sent up the bosun chair to go survey where we are. I was the kind of person before that I really look forward to school so she'd be out of the house and I could have time for me. And then now, yes, I would still like more time for myself, which I were working on. But at the same time, it's like a real privilege and it's such a joy to be around them. They were surfing my least favorite type of kelp. Oh yeah, what kind is that? Green. Green kelp? I mean orange. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where were we? What do we see? Baby seals. I see that I have a seven-year-old who reads really advanced level and she's just learned that on her own. I just love the way she's so free and she'll sing and dance.
Here's a balloon. Here's a balloon. Here's a balloon. Here's a temple. And this is me. So really what we're trying to do with this whole unschooling thing is really as we go along, figure out what is best for our child's education. And this isn't necessarily for everybody's child, but it's for our child. And I think that in my mind, it comes down to individual parents, including myself and Sile, taking responsibility back for our child's education. Now, there may be some people that, that hear that and think that that's not right for them. They don't want that level of responsibility when it comes to their children's education. For me, and I think for Sile, we do. And so that's why I think that so far homeschooling has worked for us because we're, we want that level of responsibility. We've intentionally structured and set up our lives in a way that allows us to take that level of responsibility on and then give that back to our children. So this is what we do. We'd be really curious and interested to hear what your thoughts are on that. And if you've ever thought about schooling your kids in a different way or thought about an alternative to what what is classically presented as the as the education system today if you'd like this video give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel the channel